Kia ora, Tolofalava, Kirana. Friends, another week of lockdown. Not what we we're expecting and more time of waiting. But we've become familiar with this. We're familiar with this from last year, but we're also familiar with this because our faith is about waiting. Right from the time when Jesus walked upon the earth, his disciples had been waiting for the time when the kingdom of God would be fulfilled. And initially they thought this would happen straight away, but it turns out that it took quite a while. And so through this time, the church has been learning and reflecting on the one key question that lies at the heart of our faith. It's the question that Jesus asks the disciples in Mark chapter eight. This year at First Church, we've been working our way through Mark's gospel. And we're gonna continue that with short devotional reflections via video through this lockdown. So I'm going to read to you some verses from Mark chapter eight. Then Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way, he asked his disciples, who do the people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, who do you say that I am? And Peter answered him, you are the Messiah. He sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all of this quite openly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves, take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. He said to them, Truly I tell you, there is some standing here who will not taste death until they see the kingdom of God has come with power. I wonder how your understanding of God has changed. In our reading, Peter thought he knew what it meant for Jesus to be the Messiah. But as he spent more time with Christ, listening to Christ, his understanding exploded. It was shown to be too small. And as he journeyed, and as he waited, and as he spent time in relationship, his understanding of who Jesus is and the shape of the kingdom grew. In this time of waiting, I wonder how Jesus is speaking to you. I wonder how the cross and the resurrection changes how you think about God and how you think about God's power and how you think about God's love. I invite you to talk with Jesus, to reflect on these words of scripture and talk with one another, with people in your bubble or get on the phone and call someone outside of your bubble to discuss how your views of Jesus are changed by this reading. May God use this time of waiting to grow you in your understanding of God, to deepen you in your relationship with God, and to grow in patience and peace. Grace and peace be with you all. Amen.